Go. Hello, you know. My name is Mr. McDonald's. I'm here to talk, uh, talk you through why I think you should pick GCSE history. History for me is the best subject that you could possibly learn. It allows you to, con uh, to construct and create arguments and it's analytically interpreting evidence and teaching you the skills that you can use in jobs such as journalism, law, business, politics and archaeology. It allows you to construct an argument around your thought process and it teaches you about the world we live in, what you see about the world around you, but also to be seen in the world around you. History GCSE is split up into four parts. The first part is a period study. In our case, Year 9, we are looking at Elizabeth I. This is a woman, Year 9, who was very much kicked out of her family when she was very young. Her father didn't love her. Her mother was killed uh, by the age by when Elizabeth was three years old. She had numerous stepmothers and stepparents. And she rose up out of nowhere and she became the, one of the greatest queens in British history. And that journey will tell us more about the world around us, but more importantly, it will help you develop as a young person. And that's one of the reasons why we chose the topic. Secondly, we go on to a thematic study. I think what the pandemic has taught us year nine, that we need to know the scientific development and medicine more than anything else. So what we study at GCSE History is the history of medicine. We start at the year 1000 and we go all the way up until 2024 and we study how medicine has progressed or in some instances regressed over the last 1024 years. It tells us about perseverance and endurance. It tells us about uh, human endeavour and how that has had a positive impact on our lives around us. I think particularly in the last 18 months. Then we have a look at the wider world depth study where we look at uh, opportunities and inequalities in the USA. And then finally, we look at um, a conflict study where we look at uh, whether war is just an immoral thing. In history, there are two exam papers. Each exam paper will have between four to six essay questions. Now, just because it's an essay question, that doesn't mean that it's impossible or it's going to be tremendously difficult. Of course, it will be difficult, but you have a crack team of teachers that are, help, that are there to help guide you and develop you as a young historian. So although the exam paper will be challenging, it will not be impossible for you. Paper one consists of the period study and the wider world study. Okay, the period study in our instance is where we look at the, the history of the United States and we start in the 1920s and then we finish in the 1970s. And we question this idea of whether the USA is indeed a superpower or a global power. Our wider world depth study looks at conflict and tension in Asia and we look at the Korean War and the Vietnam War and how or whether war is a justifiable means to an end and what it's like to be in a war and how the war or our war affects the wider community within these two countries. As I spoke to you earlier on, we have a look at the development of medicine and then we will finish up looking at uh, Elizabethan England and the golden age underneath Elizabeth and whether she really is one of the greatest queens in British history. I really think this course is for you and I really think you should pick it. If you have any questions, feel free to speak to myself, Miss Smithson, Mr. Fongwa, Miss Murphy or Miss Whitby. We are here to help guide you in your decision making progress. It's a fantastic subject. I hope to see you next year.